What's up, WMS? It's Ava. And I'm Logan. You're watching Bulldog News. Today is Wednesday, May 12th. Let's take a look at a bucket list video by Claire. Thanks, Claire. That was really great. Now let's take a look at a cool stop motion clip by Colin. Thanks, Colin. That was really good. Now let's check out a video by Landon in which she shares some of his drone footage of Olympia and Moe's Lake.
Thanks, Landon. Great shots and cool editing. Now let's watch an interview with Elliot and Mr. Randage. I went to Hopkins Junior High School in Aberdeen, Washington from 1980 to 1982. I was the very last class to go to that school. Um, I, again, I grew up in Aberdeen. My hometown was very much a blue collar logging town, but it was really cool growing up there because you could ride your bike from block to block into different neighborhoods and get really anywhere into town without being out onto traffic or main roads. Um, for fun, I would ride bikes with my friends. I would play football, basketball, and baseball. We'd always get games going in the neighborhood. And I uh, did that most nights, it seemed like, during the summer. Some of my favorite television shows. I always liked Gilligan's Island. Good times. And the drama Dallas. What were some of my favorite movies? Um, my all-time favorite movie is Hoosiers. These six individuals have made the choice to work, the choice to sacrifice, put themselves on the line, represent you, this high school. This is your team. Hoosiers, they needed a second chance. And then uh, I also liked Jaws, and to this day, still question going into the ocean sometimes. Some of my favorite singers or bands, um, I really liked Led Zeppelin. was a close second. Fashion trends. The biggest uh, what was I thinking uh, was when I used to wear bell-bottom jeans and have a mullet. And the biggest difference from now and then is definitely the internet and the immediate access to so much information. Uh, is there something that was popular then that is no longer or doesn't exist? The first thing that came to mind was cassette tapes or VCR uh, recorders. Um, back in the day you actually had to fast forward or rewind to find your favorite song.
And then uh, if you had to, would you rather choose to eat cake or pie? I'd eat cheesecake all day long. Thanks, Mr. Randage. I hear cassettes are making a comeback. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys some local places around here in Belize. Well, it's actually in Hopkins, my home village. So, hope you guys enjoy them. This is the library. And then there's a water tower over there. The school is over there. Oh, that's the school. And, that is, and there's a little tiny um, playground over there for the smaller children. And then this library over here is right next to the beach. So, that's nice. And the church is like kind of right behind the library over there somewhere. This is a better video of what the school looks like behind me. You can see much closer now and you can see like all the places in the school. The school is split up into like different sections. So yeah, there's a little closer shot of what the school looks like. Thanks Zikosi for sharing some of the sights of Hopkins. Looking forward to more. Next, let's watch a book trailer by Garrett. In a small village far, far north lives Russell Suskett. Russell hates hearing the sound of his father's coughing, the smell of diesel oil, and the noise of snowmobiles starting. An old, blind man named Ugruk owns a team of dogs, and Russell learns the old ways of his ancestors, and Ugruk can only remember so much. Russell goes to Ugruk for many hours a day, listening to any stories he manages to squeeze out. Ugruk insists that Russell learns the way of his people alone. Russell is granted access to a team of dogs. Although old and rusty, he believes this can be a key way to find his song. He is driven by a dream he has of a powerful, older version of himself. He goes on a journey with his dogs that will change his life forever. Thanks, Garrett. Another classic. Plus, I hear it's one of Mr. Corner's favorites. Let's see who Grace is reading with now. Welcome to Reading with Grace, where I will suggest some books, and you might want to check them out. So let's go! My name is Grace, and I have a friend with me, and her name is Emmy Montgomery, and, uh... What book do you have today for us, Emmy? Well, I have Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry Potter, um, Chamber of Secrets. And on the front, you can see this Fort Angela. Um, this is Harry. This is one. This is Fred and George Weasley, don't know which. They are very tricky to tell, so... Um, and this is the Weasley's house right here. Um, it's, and they call it the Burrow, which is this really catchy name. And 
Sorry, my clothes kind of bothering me, so I'm just gonna skip. I like the crown that's on top of there. Yeah. So, what is your favorite page in the book? Um. Well, I'm kind of gonna show you this because you know, Harry Potter is kind of like my life's true ambition. I want to be in the wizarding world. That's technically all I've ever wanted ever since I've, I've even seen the first book's cover. And well, my favorite page in Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets is this really cool page um, that has mandrakes, you know, the things that Professor Squirt has. Um, and they're going to kill all the petrified people. Um, and yeah, and I can't make out the writing on this page. It's really cramped and I can't tell what says which. I'm pretty sure that's in cursive. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is in cursive. And so thank you, bye. Thanks, Grace and Emmy. Harry Potter is a great read for all ages. Now let's watch a video about an important event in history from Addison. Same-sex marriage is legalized across the country by Addison W. Same-sex marriage was legalized on June 26, 2015 for all 50 states and territories. In a 5-4 decision by the Supreme Court, Justice Kennedy said, They asked for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. In reaction to this historic decision, President Obama said, Today we can say, in no uncertain terms, that we have made our union a little more perfect. It had been a long battle for same-sex marriage couples. It wasn't until 2004 that Massachusetts became the first state to make it legal. Prior to this, only five states recognized civil unions, the first being Vermont in 2000. Only 29 of the world's almost 200 countries have legalized gay marriage. Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica, Denmark, Ecuador, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, Ireland, Luxembourg, Malta, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, and Uruguay. 37% of adults were on board with same-sex marriage in 2009. In 2017, the percentage was raised 62%, but in 2019, only 61% of adults liked the idea of same-sex marriage. Thanks, Addison. It truly was a momentous day in history. Now let's get another book recommendation from Miss Roloff. Okay, all. I have an update. Literally two days after recording my review on Darius the Great is Not Okay, I read Darius the Great Deserves Better. And I read it in a day because it was so good. Darius is back from visiting his family in Iran. He has his best friend. He has the varsity soccer team now. He has an internship. He has a potential love interest. So good. And I loved how this book still makes you wonder what will make Darius completely happy because he's thinking, I got all these things. I have the varsity soccer team. I have a potential boyfriend now. Like I have all these things. I should be super happy. But he's like, but are these things what are going to make me happy? So good. Darius is the best. Hands down, best character. If you've read Darius the Great is not okay, I highly recommend the second one. It is a bit more PG-13, so warning, but read it. Love it. The best. Thanks, as always, Mrs. Roloff, for such a great recommendation. 
Let's see where Hayden is and hear about this week's weather. Hayden? Stop there, WMS. It's Hayden, and welcome back to Where in the World is Hayden P. Thank you to all who responded in my Google form. Most of you were correct that I was in the Louvre of, in Paris. Here are the names. Get ready for this week's weather. It's going to be strange, but awesome. Today is going to be 72. Woohoo! It will be partly cloudy all week. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. What a drift. That's it. I mean it. It will be in the low 70s. The rest of the week will be back into the mid 60s. No worms at this time. Respond to my Google form on the website. Students who are correct will have their names announced next week. Now, you're getting hypnotized. When I snap my fingers, you will watch the reminder of how to get to the form. From Berlin to Carolina, sticky fingered filcher from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world. Now back to our anchors and Logan and Bardia. Don't save a dia. And now, this week's birthdays. It must be somebody's birthday, and I think you know by now. If you're not doing what you want to do, perhaps someday you shall. It must be somebody's birthday, you can almost guarantee. Just believe in what you do, and on that we can agree. Today is somebody's birthday, and I think you know by now, by now. If you're not doing what you want to do, Perhaps someday you shall. It must be somebody's birthday. You can almost guarantee. Just believe in what you do, and on that we can agree. Gentlemen! Somebody's birthday, and I think you know by now, by now, by now. If you're not doing what you want to do, perhaps someday you shall. It must be somebody's birthday, you can almost guarantee. Just believe in what you do. Just believe, just believe. Just believe in what you do, and on that we can agree. We can agree. We can agree. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, Bulldogs, be kind, be safe, wear a mask, and, and make, make good choices. Good choices.